This video may not get monetized, but that literally doesn't matter. The message means more to me than the fucking money. I'ma try to speak in a way in which everybody can understand. I'ma have no little sound effects or heavy editing. I need y'all just to hear what I have to say. There's nothing more in the world that I despise than a manipulative, gold digging, abusive instigator bitch. As soon as a man even raises his voice at a woman in a video, what do all the comments say? Leave him, he's not worth it, fuck that dude, he ain't worth shit. They'll throw around the word abuse and sexist and misogynistic while barely knowing the meaning of half the words they speak. Both men and women, right? But as soon as you flip the genders, it's a whole other situation. It becomes the world's most unfair manipulation game. Jonathan Majors, a man who was said to have assaulted his ex-girlfriend though was proven innocent how because there's literally video evidence of his aggressive abusive ex-girlfriend and she fucking chased him when he tried to de-escalate the situation he's just been convicted of domestic violence and aggravated assault on this white woman and let me just clarify this video is in no way targeted at women as a whole this is literally the one percent of women out of the hundred that do these abusive things to their men this bitch just happens to be one of them i'm as much of a feminist as the next dude but shit like this pisses me the hell off this is literally the same case as the johnny depp and his bitch ass ex-wife but now you can go ahead and put the color on the graph because with all the evidence that was showed we know that jonathan was innocent little video and audio footage but yet he was still convicted of crimes that he was the victim of how is this fair how did any evidence used to oppose jonathan in court hold up at all like even in the slightest so many things didn't add up the woman had a cut allegedly had a cut on the back of her ear that she claimed Jonathan caused by hitting her. But literal doctors have stated that for that kind of cut to happen, it would have needed to have been a sharp object to do the damage. I'm telling you, this crazy cunt bitch did it to herself. And before any dummy says, oh, but why would she do that to herself? When you go after a man who has that much power, and by power in this case, I mean money and influence, when you bring them into a court case for anything domestic violence related, R word related, it can be so easy for you to win and it sucks because you need such little evidence nowadays to prove yourself. I am not and will never defend abusive men. Abusive women and abusive men are equals. They deserve the same punishments. I know Jonathan was in the wrong to put his hands on her, but in no way did he harm her. On video, he literally picked her up and placed the ass back in the taxi that she followed him out of. As soon as she became more and more aggressive, he ran away. He fled for his life because he knew what was at risk and she chased him. She chased her alleged aggressor. What sense does that make? I'm going to give y'all an analogy, okay? And if any of you unintelligent niggas don't understand what I'm saying, click off this video as soon as I spit these bars. It's going to be harsh what I'm about to say and immediately demonetize me. But like I said, the message is what matters here, not the money. Imagine you have a girlfriend. I know for some of y'all that's easy, lonely ass niggas. I'm playing. I just wanted to break the tension for a second because it's about to get intense. Imagine this girlfriend of yours claimed that you graped her, but the G is silent. You break up with her, try to move on with your life after she just lied to a maximum degree to destroy your life and credibility. And the very next day, she's in your DMs begging you to take her back. What sense does that make? Huh? Tell me. I would like to know. So this whole claims that Jonathan beat her ass right but yet she literally chased him down like six blocks that sounds like you either severely don't know what's good for you or you're just a fucking psychopath there was an audio file that showed jonathan talking her down in a heated argument and he was just trying to explain his point of view and you could just hear you could just hear how it was going through one of her ears and then straight out of the other one there was no hope in that relationship to begin with but they better free that man right now his sentencing is in february and i could not be any more worried about this man you know what i haven't been petty enough in this video let me tell you something i hope the next dude to date this scumbag bitch actually commits the shit that she claims jonathan did make her look like the hoe that cried nigga i had another video planned for today but i'm gonna have to wait another day or two to post it because i just had to speak on this why is the world catered to discard men in such a way if video and audio evidence doesn't matter in domestic violence cases then all men are absolutely screwed anytime any kind of allegation comes out and then marvel just straight up fired him on the spot immediately after the court case ended like he wasn't on his way to becoming an avengers level threat they had movies ready 
with his character's name of the title and now they're just scrapping everything because instead of looking at the evidence and realizing that it made no sense and that he's still a good man they aided the abuser by taking everything away from him shit like this is why i'm glad marvel fell the fuck off they don't know what's best for them women get away with abusing men daily let a man even get angry at a bitch and he's villainized a woman is meant to be a man's peace in the relationship but she used every ounce of pity manipulation and fucking simps to make the world think she was the victim. I can't even fathom the kind of anger I'd feel if I was Jonathan right now. I just hope that Jonathan knows that the world knows he's innocent and that his comeback will be a great one in God's name. I hope the absolute worst for that bitch. I hope her Instagram comments make her go schizophrenic. I hope she blows all that money she made off the case then starts a failing music career only to end up as an alcoholic junkie with rotten teeth. I have zero sympathy for this lying, abusive, manipulative puta. And if I missed anything that Jonathan Majors did to this lady and you're bothered to make it to the end of this video, link me the proper information down in the comments below and I'll be seeing you. Fuck that bitch. Do 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 do